So, um, hi and welcome to everyone who ha has come. You're welcome to come on camera or stay off camera, whatever you're more comfortable with. Uh, so, my name is Laura Jean, and I'm a business coach and artist here in Toronto. And this is my friend Carla. And <laughs> she, I'll let her introduce herself in a second because she's going to lead us in some self care practices. Um, so, just to give you a lay of the land of what we're doing tonight, we are going to be doing a very simple painting. Um, exercise, I guess you would call it. Um, we're going to do, I'm going to teach you just two brush strokes. So if you're an absolute beginner, you no problem at all. This is all about the process and enjoying art making as a meditation um, and a means of self care. So art is something I always say art heals the soul. Art is something that got me through some of the toughest times of my life uh, over the past three years. And it's really just become this thing that I, I turn to you know, on a daily basis. And I'm hoping to introduce it to some new people as something that you can turn to um, uh, as well. And whether you have 15 minutes, you know, like while you're drinking coffee in the morning or you have, uh, you know, an hour as you're winding down at night or whatever, it's just a really rewarding way to um, take care of yourself, I guess, and just spend some time feeling grounded and peaceful. So what I want to mention for sure is that sometimes with art, um, your inner critic can get really loud. So this is definitely a time to just thank your inner critic for showing up, but let them know that you're just not interested in their opinion. <laughs> um, you know, this is not about results or comparing yourself to others. And it, and at the same time, you will develop a uh, technique as you experiment like this. So this is a very experimental process, but this is really how I started doing art. And now these are some of my paintings behind me. So you do, through this process, develop technique if you stick with it. So the goal is to really stay with it, be gentle with yourself, set yourself um, a space for doing your art, maybe like um, keep your watercolors on your coffee table, keep your watercolor paper there or markers or whatever it is you do, you know, really to nurture your soul and just spend time with yourself doing it without any criticism or um, judgment or any of that stuff. So that's my goal tonight is to just introduce you to a really relaxing practice. Um, we're going to start that in a few minutes after Carla gives us a lovely intro and leads us in some self-care practices. So I'll turn it over to you, Carla. Thank you so much. I'm so uh, glad to be here and so lovely to have all of you join us. Um, as Laura Jane said, my name is Carla Smith. I'm a personal transformation coach and a self-love expert. And so self-care is like my jam. Totally. <laughs> I love it so much. It's so powerful. Um, Laura Jean and I came up with this idea really as an opportunity for us to um, get connected to uh, this loving kindness that we can give ourselves. It's really uh, self-care is the action of that, being able to take care of ourselves, be gentle with ourselves, create space for ourselves. And, um, you know, whether you're having personal challenge or whether, you know, things in the world feel complicated, it's just this uh, uh, really great opportunity to go within and create um, you know, love and warmth and joy and kindness and all of this so that that can emanate out from you. Um, and that's really just such a beautiful way for us to heal and to grow and to solve problems and all of these things uh, that are uh, around us. So one of the great things about self-care is that it can be really, really easy. We don't have to go to the spa or travel or do any big, huge acts of um, you know, actions in order for us to feel good. We can literally learn what we're doing today and take five minutes and do a, a quick little, um, you know, painting or coloring or whatever makes you feel good. Um, and that's going to change your energy, right? So um, we're going to do two quick uh, little self-care pieces. So if you haven't opened your chat, I'd love for you to do that. The first thing I want you to consider, so just sort of like close your eyes for a sec and just consider what is my intention for being here tonight? Why did I sign up for this? 
What do I want to feel for this hour? And then when you've sort of landed on a word or a phrase that feels connected to your intention, you can pop it in the chat. I'll just take a minute here. <clears throat> Give space to creativity, which I've been lacking for the past two years. I love that. Restoration. Thank you. Yeah, those are beautiful intentions. Reconnect to artistic outlet. Love that. Beautiful. Calm. Thank you. Peace and openness. It's all beautiful, right? And this is what really how we want all of these words for all of us really help us to um, feel. Uh, we can connect with each others in this collective way, right? Oops, it went too fast. I lost a couple there. Uh, remind to remind myself to slow down and use other parts of my brain, especially during difficult times. Learn some ways to release stress through creativity more than just one word, clearly. <laughs> love that. Thank you, Kelly. <laughs> awesome. Okay. So I thought what we would do, we've all probably done a lot of work today or had lots of responsibility. So I think what we're going to do is start with just a grounding breath work. So uh, place your feet really nicely on the floor or cross-legged or however it feels comfortable for you. I want you to maybe even just move some of your, like move your shoulders just for a sec, maybe give your ankles a little twist, right? We just want to loosen up a little bit because as Lord Jean said, our inner critic can get in the way so much, but if we can kind of enter this from a place of process instead of outcome, we're going to really have like some fun doing this art, right? Instead of it feeling like I have to make what Lord Jean makes. <laughs> <laughs> so let's, uh, yeah, just close our eyes and take a couple of just natural breaths. Maybe one more. And then we're going to do a box breath. So we're going to inhale for four. One, two, three, four, hold two two, and then exhale, four, three, two, one, hold, one, two. Again, inhale, one, two, three, four, hold, one, two, exhale, four, three, two, one, hold, one, two. Once more, one, two, three, four, hold, one, two, exhale, four, three, two, one, hold, one, two. And now do that three more times at your own pace. When you're done, just let your breathing come back to its natural rhythm. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes. that my son to take it away Carla yeah okay <laughs> that was wonderful so relaxing I I always forget how just breath controls so much eh 
Yeah. So I'm going to show you, these are some examples of what we could do. So basically, I'm just going to show you a straight stroke and a curved stroke. And barely any technique or, or teaching is needed. But just using those two, I've created these. So I also mentioned on the um, supply, suggested supplies, if you have a Sharpie. So I did this with black lines and then this without, so you can just sort of see the difference. Um, so you're going to create your own exploration. This is me testing some pearlescent paints that turned out really pretty. Um, so it's totally your own exploration if you want it to be sparse, if you want it to be overlapping, if you want it to be more like an actual, you know, tree. That was actually going to be a branch. And then I thought, oh, it's a tree with wind. I don't know. But the outcome doesn't matter because it's all about just getting lost in, you know, what you're doing. And from a tech technique point of view, this is also a really good way to get used to a new set of paints or, um, you know, each set of paints has a different, uh, different qualities, different thickness, different saturation, and so on. So just a couple tips on um, watercolors. One of the things I like to do is just keep water um, around so that I can paint anytime I want. So on my coffee table, I keep a little container like this that I can use over and over before it gets too dirty. And then I keep this one because I can also use it to like add water here or use it to wet the paints. So before you start with watercolors, it helps to wet them a little bit and let them soak. And it's important to use watercolor paint, uh, sorry, watercolor paper. Um, regular like printer paper, or anything like that doesn't hold watercolor um, that well. So watercolor paper is just especially made for it. And you can use, like I mentioned here, dumping the water here, um, you can use a plate or the lid of your, uh, like some sets come with a special thing built in, or you can just use the lid. And so you can use that to like water your colors down. You can take them right from here. You can mix them. Like I really just want to encourage no rules and fun experimentation. So the first thing we're going to do is just a simple line. So the best way to get a, a consistent line is to kind of block your hand in place so that you can't really squish the brush too much and go all wild. But if you do squish the brush and go wild, who cares? Because now you've got a different result. So this is all about experimentation. If you do want to control those thin lines and keep them thin, that's one way to do it. It's just blocking your hand in place so you're just kind of like a machine. And then you move your arm across. So you can do small, uh, lines you can do and then as you experiment you see like oh that could be grass or that could be hair on a funny person you know you can just do you see things emerge and you can just make them happen so line is the first thing we're doing so if you want to practice some lines on a scrap piece of paper before you start your actual composition that's totally cool if you want to just dive in and start doing lines I happen to be doing leaves and twigs and things like that. I just like nature and flowers and whatnot. Um, but if you want to do something else, like totally go for it, whatever you want. It could be an abstract composition, it, you know, however you like it. This is your time to spend exploring and seeing what you like. So to do a leaf or a curved shape, you can, you can just do it like by using the lines. You can do like that and basically color it in. There's nothing wrong with that approach. Um, or you can also do it by squishing the brush down and spreading it out. And so that one is kind of fun to play with. The other wonderful thing about watercolors is how they blend. So once you have wet down like this, then you can pop other colors in. And so you can make all different kinds of shades of, or like just colorful creations, like I did a fair bit of that in this. I put some dots. Sometimes I put dots too, like outside in the area around it, like anything goes. But just to introduce you to that beautiful quality of watercolors that they do, um, they really mix and blend well. And when they're wet and you're using multiple colors in one area, it can just turn out so beautiful. Um, so you can then build on here and add some stems or however you want to do it. 
So one thing to watch out for is that when you put, you know what, I'm going to do another color. Let's do a totally different color, like a green. When two wet areas touch, they blend into each other, which you may want. It can look beautiful or you may not want. So if I wanted these two leaves to be overlapping and standing out distinctly from each other, I'd want to let this one dry before I go and try and put something over it. Um, so I think that's actually it for the instruction. There's not a heck of a lot more to know. Oh, one more thing, really quickly. How you control the, how much water you use controls how saturated your color is. So that's, that's the pink right out of the pan. And then here's the pink totally watered down. So that's just a whole other way to control what you're getting. You can, you could start with, you know, lighter, more, unsaturated colors to do like a bottom layer and then you could overlap more saturated colors. So I hope that wasn't sort of too fast or too little or too much or whatever. I really just wanted to kind of give you some clues as to how to start experimenting, but then leave you really free to experiment. So I'm going to grab myself another piece of paper and start fresh. And I'm using this Dollarama paper, which is not that bad. For three bucks a, a pad, it's not horrible. So Carla's going to put on some music, and we're just going to start making art together for about 45 minutes, I think. And then we are going to see if anybody wants to share their painting or what they got out of it or um, anything else, really. <laughs> so Carla, if you can start the music, I'm going to go on mute in case my dogs bark. It's going to be about 30 minutes uh, and then okay. I will give you a little bit of a warning. All right. Enjoy. Oh, yeah, 30 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Enjoy yeah. your painting.
have about five more minutes. So just uh, continue what you're doing, but just know that we're going to come back for a little bit of a share in about five minutes. Please take a moment to just finish up your last strokes there or whatever you're working on. And then we'll um, come back to just a little bit of connection before we leave. 
Hmm. It's hard to stop for sure. Once you're in it, <laughs> it's wonderful. It was wonderful to see so much, uh, like just focus, which was beautiful. So we're going to just start with a few questions and then Laura Jean's going to wrap us up uh, to say goodbye. Um, let's uh, just start with how you're feeling in your body right now. Does anyone want to share how you're feeling? Like in your body, how do you feel differently than you did when you first came in, for example? Gonna have, you can just open your mic. Hmm. I feel ahead, more relaxed. Yeah, beautiful. Love it. Yeah, it's so relaxing, right? Anyone else? For me, I feel more present in the moment. Yeah. Nice. Thank you. And I feel like I'm using a different part of my brain. Yes. Love that so much. You are for sure. Right. <laughs> so I love that so much. And now if you, does, is there anyone who wants to share what they painted? If you do want to share. Yeah. Go ahead, Rachel. Yeah. Oh, the spotlight. yeah, for sure. Sorry. I had my just acrylic paints from Dollarama. Oh, there you go. And I started with your technique and I like how it kind of turned into like fiery flowers and it's all chaotic, which is what is kind of going on in my life right now. So I'm actually <laughs> oh, I'm really that. I love it. That's Thank wonderful. you. Wonderful. I love it. Thanks. Thank you. Anyone else would love to share? If you do, you don't there, yeah, go ahead, Kara. I'm just gonna spotlight you. Hang on just a sec. Okay, well, go I, ahead. I started with the little, like the leaves. Yeah. And yeah. I wasn't feeling them. <laughs> so then I thought I would try some little jellyfish. Oh, fish. it's like jellyfish. I love it. Oh nice. Gosh. And then I really liked the technique that I was, I'd figured out near the end. So then I like did one just kind of almost oh. dribbling off the page. So love it. yeah. It's kind of cool. Thank you so much for sharing. Beautiful. Anyone else want to share? Go ahead, Sabina. Yeah. Sure. I'm just going to spotlight you. Hang on just a sec so everyone can see. Go ahead. This is mine. Beautiful. Uh, my, I'm doing my PhD and my colleague is doing psilocybin research with it, which is magic mushroom research. And oh, so I had magic mushrooms on the brain. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. I love it. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. That's awesome. Thank you for sharing. Anyone else? Go ahead, Angie. You just have to. Oh, you're laughing at the magic mushroom. Do you want to share? Yeah. Okay. Hang on. Let me just. <laughs> I just need to spotlight you. Hang on. There we go. Lovely. Wow. Thank you. I love how I always love how different each one is. It's just so amazing. Uh, Maritza, go ahead. Maritza, I think Mar you correct me if I said it incorrectly. <clears throat> Hang on, let me just spotlight you too. There we go. Beautiful. Thank you for sharing it. It's great. Love your color choices. Uh, is there anyone else? Thank you guys for sharing your art. It's always such a privilege for us to because you don't have to, obviously, on Zoom, it's, you know, it's like just so easy not to share, right? So that you did, it just gives us all that sense that we're um, in this all together and working on something really beautiful, that that feeling of collectively painting. I hope that you could all feel that. I really felt that this, like every, all these squares focused on really just being creative and caring and relaxing and um, that was really beautiful. So the last question I have, and then we'll, uh, Laura Jean will wrap up. Uh, what do you hope to carry forward with you from today? Is there anyone who can, wants to, you can even just reflect on that after our, when we're finished, but if there's someone who would like to share, what do you hope to carry forward? Go ahead, Kara. So initially I turned off my camera and I, I thought I was going to leave. 
<laughs> and then I, because I had didn't have my paints organized and I wasn't ready. And then I, I just thought, oh, I might as well. So I did it. And I, I'm going to take with me, just do it. Just do it. And because it'll feel better. I love it's it. so easy to quit and just go. I was, I have work to do and I would have worked, but I'm so grateful to oh. you for doing this. And, and then, yeah, like sharing and knowing that everybody else was painting too. And the music, it all made me felt, feel good. And I really appreciate it taking the time to do it. It changed my day. Thank you so much for sharing that. It's beautiful and fills my heart up. Um, the Angie wrote, the freedom to take some time for myself. Beautiful. And Sabina wrote, not to be afraid to ask for space for myself that's not productive in the classic way. Yeah, love all of this. Wow. <laughs> High five, everybody. <laughs> um, Ritza, go Yay. ahead. Yeah, one more share and then and then Laura Jean. I just wanted, yeah, I, I echo that sentiment initially. It's dinner time. I've got a toddler. It's busy, and I thought I don't have my art supplies. And then I thought, you know yeah. what? Let's just do it. And mm -hmm. I just continued, and I was quickly very thankful um, to take to have that space and, and those few minutes and mm -hmm. what, I think, what I hope to carry forward is that sometimes you don't have to have an hour or you know or, or set out to do an, uh, a masterpiece or anything like that even just drawing a dot or something lines or figures it's mm -hmm. it's enough to be in the present moment and it's enough to take a break um and I can also do it with my toddler which she is yay hi <laughs> So it can also be something for the whole family, um, yeah. depending on what you want to take out of it. So I love yeah. that so much. Thank you guys so much for that that sharing. I think it's so powerful for us each to hear how we're all making space for ourselves, taking up space, taking time, right? That is what self-care is all about, however you can fit it in. And like I said, you know, we painted for about 30 minutes. And you could have painted for 15 minutes or even five minutes and still had or done that breathwork activity, which was honestly less than a minute long, right? So just remembering to give yourself those moments is really what Laura Jean and I hope we're bringing to you so that you can just face all the things, those hard times, the challenges, the good times with this renewed sense of peace within you. So I, I want to just thank you so much for joining us. And Laura Jean, take it away. <laughs> yeah, um, that I mean, my heart is so full. This is just, you know, such a lovely experience. And I'm so happy that everybody came and, um, you know, that you shared so generously. And uh, it's just exactly what I hope to um, put out there with this little event. So we are doing it again in two weeks on Tuesday, December 5th. You're all welcome to come back. And, um, every, you know, everybody is welcome. So please feel free to invite friends or share, you know, share it with friends, etc. cetera. Um, we, Carla and I are hoping to build this up into sort of some kind of regular event. So we'll, we'll keep you posted. We're gonna send out a feedback form tomorrow. Um, just, you know, anything that helps us make it uh, smoother or, you know, more useful, or if you want like a bit more instruction or a bit less or whatever it is. So we'll do a slightly different project uh, next, next time on December 5th. And I just have one invitation to you is that, you know, I really wanted to um, put something out in the world that was going to, you know, create a little bit of space and peace and love and um, kindness. And so I invite you to think of ways that you could look for those little opportunities, whether it's just being a little kinder to the Rogers customer support person when you're trying to get your cell phone service <laughs> desk um, or at a convenience store or a bus driver. Like I really believe in the power of just putting love and peace and kindness out there. And we never know how it's going to brighten someone else's day. So um, I just, you know, that that's one little invitation I invite you to carry with you as you go about your days. And hopefully we'll see you again in two weeks. So thank you so much, everybody, for coming. It was a real pleasure. And um, hopefully we'll see you again soon. You're welcome. Thank you all. You're welcome. Yeah. You guys are saying such nice thank yous. <laughs> I know. Thank you so much, you guys. It was wonderful. We, we received so much. Thank you. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. 
same right. time. Yeah, December 5th from 6 to 7, uh, 6 yeah. o'clock to 7 o'clock. Yeah. So we'll send you out information about it too. So hopefully you'll come back. All right, everybody. Bye. Have a great night.